Ocean Treasures by Dennis Hurtig, genre realistic fiction. On a bright fall morning, Shauna and Mike stood on the back porch of Graham's beach house. His house was on a hill above the ocean. The water sparkled in the early daylight. It was a wonderful view. In the distance, Mike spotted a large spout of spray shooting up from the ocean. Wow, is that a whale, Gramps? He gasped. Yes, it's coming up to breathe, Gramps said, smiling. A black seabird dove into the water and came up with a fish in its mouth. This is an exciting backyard, Gramps, said Shauna. They went inside for breakfast. Shauna pointed to the wall of colorful photos in Gramps' kitchen. Where did you get all these cool photos? She asked. You will find out after breakfast, said Gramps with a wink. When they were done eating, Gramps put his cell phone in his pocket. Let's head to the beach, he said. There is lots to see. Like whales, said Mike. Yes, but there are little things that are just as amazing as the big things. So keep your eyes open. When they arrived at the beach, seabirds were packing at the sand near the surf. Mike spotted seagulls picking up shells and dropping them onto the rocks. What are the seagulls doing? He asked. Seagulls drop shells on the rocks to crack them open. Then they can eat what's inside, said Gramps. Look above the seagulls, said Gramps. Do you see what I see on that cliff? An eagle! It's huge! shouted Mike. Gramps explained. The eagle sits on those high steep rocks so it can look for food down below. Good job noticing what's in the sky, said Gramps. Now let's see what you can notice on the ground. Have you ever seen a tide pool? What's a tide pool? asked Shauna. Gramps pointed to some rocks. Let's go over there and see. When they reached the rocks, they saw small pools of water. Gramps explained, the ocean moves close to shore and then back out again about twice a day. When the ocean is out, like it is now, it leaves these little pools. All kinds of living things make their homes here. What can you see? There were bright starfish, spiky sea urchins, orange crabs, sea worms, and snails. Little fish darted about as different kind of seaweed moved back and forth slowly in the shallow water. It was yellow, green, red, and brown. Shwana pointed to something orange. Is that a sea flower? She asked. No, it's an animal called an anemone, said Gramps. Look closer. Those things that look like flower petals are body parts. It uses to catch food. Shauna said, the seashells are so pretty. Can we take some home, Gramps? Sorry, Shauna, Gramps replied. It's better not to. Why? asked Mike. Sea creatures that live in shells might die if we pick up their homes, explained Gramps. Plus, there aren't many shells left. Too many people collect them. Here's what I do, said Gramps. I use my cell phone to take photos. I get down low on the rocks to get a good snapshot. Want to try it? Yeah, the kids both shouted. They took turns. Mike began to take a snapshot of a large shell. 
Suddenly, he yelled, The shell is moving. A scary creature is crawling out. It's just a hermit crab, Gramps explained. As the crab grows, it gets too bigger for its shell. Then it needs to look for a bigger shell to live in. Hmm, said Shauna. So if people collect too many shells, hermit crabs might not be able to find a place to live. That's right, said Gramps. Gramps, Shauna and Mike spent the rest of the day exploring the beach and taking pictures. When the sky began to grow dark, they headed back to the house. They uploaded the photos to Grandpa's computer and made an album. Wow, I can't believe how much we saw today, said Shauna. Yeah, thanks for the adventure, Gramps, said Mike. It was my pleasure, said Gramps. They heard the sound of a car pulling up in the driveway. Mike and Shauna couldn't wait to tell their parents all about the ocean treasure they saw that day on the beach.